Three, Set, two, go, one. Go. Hey there. Today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of a pumpkin trebuchet. So this is a pumpkin trebuchet we built this year. This is a the, done this for a couple years. So I think about five years ago we started building these. This is designed for a smaller one. Publix had a sale on these little two to three pound pumpkins. So I think it was a uh, two three dollars. So we ended up buying a bunch for the kids to throw. Um, from a weight perspective, it's about 31 pounds on the the weight. Uh, we actually added a little bit more to throw some bigger pumpkins and mess around with it. Um, normally in the past, if you're throwing 10 pound pumpkins, you want to be around 100 to 150 is what we've used. Um, requires a bit more engineering and structural on the frame itself. So the, this one is pretty quick to get built. You can see the, the build video here in a second. From a standpoint of uh, how it's built, I'm gonna walk through a couple key things we've learned over the last couple years. Um, first thing I'm gonna start with is the throwing arm. So this is an eight foot throwing arm. It's designed for these, like I said, these two three pound pumpkins. Let me get that off there. Um, this arm, got hung up here. All right, so this, take a look at the throwing arm. One of the things you'll notice to come in. Um, the first thing is how we do the firing pin. So you lose a lot of these eye hole screws and attach. The firing pin itself is these two eye holes. And uh, you want to come in, put that firing pin in. So typically do two people when you set it up. The firing pin itself just slides in. So it's a, a six inch bolt. We cut down, got rid of the, the screw part and have a smooth side. Um, so this holds the weight really good. The nice thing is you can get a six foot, seven foot cord and can pull away and have some people fire from a safe distance. Uh, safety is really important with these things. And the thing I always tell everybody is it will take your arm off, it'll take your face off. Um, if it could smash a 100 pound or a 10 pound pumpkin, it could do a lot, a lot of damage to you. So make sure nobody stands behind it, nobody stands in front of it. And uh, when you're firing, make sure people are cleared from it. Uh, the second piece you'll notice, so if you wanna come back in here, is how um, from a bag standpoint, we use, uh, we actually use a uh, nylon sack. You probably have some of these laying around your house. Put grommets in it and then use 400 paracord. So it's a little bit stretchy, not, not too stretchy, but it's, I think from a whip perspective, it works really, really well. It's lightweight. Uh, and this bag itself, put the pumpkin in there, it pulls it. So let me back this up and you can see what it looks like. This bag, we load pumpkin. And then this piece is what attaches to this bottom L bracket. L bracket we bent up a little bit to help with firing position. So this will actually adjust where it fires at the top. So if you angle it up more, it's gonna fire later, angle it down. The one thing, if you angle it down too much, it's gonna slide off as you're getting ready to launch here. But from this standpoint, it's pretty good. So this guy's tight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and launch this. So do a quick launch, this, this guy. We had a little bit extra weight, so it'll go pretty far. So you can scoot back. You're gonna pull it on three, two, one. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. All right, firing. So I mentioned we did add a little bit extra weight because we wanted to see how far the thing would go, but 31 pounds, we'll fire it decently far. All the designs for these were based off of virtualtrebuchet.com. It's a website that just gives you a lot of math and science behind it, which is pretty cool. Um, if you want to come and look at the construction, so I'll come in a second. Um, framing itself is all two by fours. This arm is an eight foot throwing arm. So it's 5.7 on feet on one end and uh, 2.3 on the other. Um, from a standpoint of the, um, the weight itself, this is about 31 pounds. So we added another 25 to get however far that went, went pretty far. 
The throwing bar itself, this is one of the um, things I learned in the first couple years. Um, so this is actually a steel pipe and it's threaded on this end. So Home Depot, they'll cut it to length for you. I got it cut where it's longer. I can screw it in here and it actually gets tight here. So it really holds it tight. It holds the frame together so it doesn't come loose at all, which is a nice feature to have. Um, within the, the throwing arm, we have some PVC and this is actually used to have it sit really smoothly on the pipe. And then we have a couple brackets on the side just to make sure it doesn't walk too much. When you're not in level ground, it will walk from side to side. And this allows it to be pretty smooth on throwing. One of the other things we learned the second year we built this was wheels help a lot. If you put wheels on it, it, it gets damaged a lot less because of the weight moving back and forth. If it doesn't have wheels, it'll rock and the bottom will rock and you end up having things sort of shake itself apart. If you put wheels on it, you get a lot more throws out of it without having any, to worry about anything. Um, screws themselves, uh, three and a half inch screws. Pretty simple design. It's about uh, probably about four hours to put this guy together. Um, but it's a, like I said, it's a lot, of, a lot of math and research beforehand. So that's how it works. Uh, take a look at the video as it's thrown at the bottom of the, uh, bottom of the video here and good luck.